everyone, welcome to the Falcon's Nest. I am Nicholas Stolen, your host here today, alongside fellow striker Daniel Garcia. Glad to be here, Nick. Thank you. Daniel is a soccer star for Cal Maritime, and what are, you, what are you expecting today? I'm expecting a good game. It's a beautiful day, you know, beautiful day out here. I just want to see a hard-fought game. They're both coming off losses, but I do want to come with to see a hard-fought game, yeah. I'm excited today. The Falcons, you know, this is a big test for them. They had a their last home match was a nine nothing rout against the Commons. But Yuba City looks strong here in the white. And we got our Falcons in the blue and it's underway today. Should be a good matchup. Both sides trying to just figure each other out, you know, get the ball moving. And uh hopefully Solano's up for the test. They are actually four and four on the season, while Yuba City is five and two. So it's a little bit of a test, you know. They're going up against a team that is expected to win. But uh, the Falcons are up for it, especially here at home. Ball lobbed around. Good little chip. Here's Dessel. Setting the tone. Good. Good movement from Good Solano. Good movement already from Solano. Hamster plays up the line. Lewis. The coach is uh, stressing before the game that he wants to see a higher intensity from their last outing, which the Falcons lost one to nothing. Maybe they can bounce back here against a confident Yuba City team. You do see Solano's being pretty aggressive already, pushing the ball forward. And here comes Schoberg. Quick break. Break through. Coming down the wing. And well stopped from Yuba City. Defender back there. The Nisha Valencia. And that's a good start by Solano. You want to see that from right from the get-go. Get your striker involved. That's a good start. And what do you think of uh, Sydney Schoberg, number 10? She's uh, Leeds Falcons with all goals. You know what? I did go to high school with her, and I know she's a very talented player. I'd like to see her get on the score sheet today. I'd love to see that. I know she can do it. Let's play. Dessel drops it back. Good movement from the center midfielder, Jenny Dessel. Great run. Great ball. Spreading it wide to Darian Sir. But once again, Yuba City strong in the back there. And a little bit of a chance to break here. Tries a through ball. Good ball. To Valencia. Valencia turns inside against Sir. One on one. Ball comes in. And it's spilled through. And it's what a save. Great save by the keeper. Jeez. What and a save. Solano's defense unlocked there. And what a save. Good from pressure. Good pressure. Danielle by Hendershot. Great save. I'll whip back in. And that's off, yeah. Turn off sides. Really good start for both teams. You see them trying to get forward quick, using their strikers, using their wingers. That's good. Looks like a topsy-turvy game today. Man, this is going to be open. A lot it's more uh, interesting game. than the last home game from the Falcons, which they just destroyed the Contra Costa team. And Yuba City actually beat the Commons as well, but only 1-0. So maybe you think, mm -hmm. you know, how is that possible with Yuba City having a better record? But uh, Solano came to, just came with their shooting boots on their last home game. And, Nick, right now this game's up in the air. I can't decide who I th – I can't pull a favor right now. This, they're both pushing. It's a good game so far. And Mia Horn with a great ball. Dele Lewis. It's through. Clean through. Shot just wide. Maybe put off balance there. Man, that was good pressure again from Solano. Great ball from Horn to Lewis. Lewis just – couldn't get on balance at that last one. And it'll be a goal kick. And one back. Once again, Yuba City strong in the defense, trying to create another counterattack. Dessel moving it back and Good forth, movement. one touch. And once again, Gonzalez strong in the back for the Yuba City, Priscilla Gonzalez. Another through ball. 
looking for Valencia, but Sir once again one on one trying to keep her out. Ball eventually finds its way. Both Back. teams are playing aggressive, Nick. I can see that quick right off the bat. And here's Calderon. Solano sends it up the wing. Once again, Gonzalez back there, shaping up things for Yuba City 49ers. So, Daniel, what do you think of the start to this game? It's, you know, up opening five, ten minutes. Both teams of. are coming out for the win. They're not going to settle. You can see both teams are pushing. Uh, a lot of good through balls, a lot of opening. Um, I'm impressed with both teams right now, very impressed. There's not a clear favorite, like I said. I agree, I agree. Looks like both teams are pressing hard. And here's an opportunity here. Through ball oh. towards Lewis and Schoberg. But once again, Yuba City 49ers strong in the defense. And Schoberg does well to stick a foot in. And good, good defense there. Jordan Lutis, Jor Jordan Lutis for the uh, Solano Falcons. Looks like the orchestrator in center midfield, number 20. Yeah, definitely. Looks like she can pick She's a pass out. She's pace right now, definitely. And speaking of her, here she is again, shielding the ball. And here comes the 49ers. Switching it back across. Try a little give and go. Well played out by Amanda Hetzel. There in the back for Solano. Ball comes across. And here is Lewis again. Looks like a midfield battle, would you say? Yeah, definitely. I'd like to see one of the two strikers, one of the two forwards right now, get more involved in the game for both teams. It's not just one. But I think that opened it up. Yeah. Great little through ball there attempted by the 49ers. But once again, strong play from Hadsel in the back line. Those green shoes really stand out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd like to buy me some of those. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes more pressure now from the 49ers. Kent tries the ball inside. Long shot. Easily saved. Not troubling the goalkeeper. Hender shot. Had an amazing save early on. That, you know, could have been easily 1 0 49ers, but great that save. Could've, that could have easily shifted the side. The, uh, the game towards Yuba City. That was a good save. Once again, Gonzalez storing up things. Nice little pass inside. Here comes Zuninga. Looking for that runner again. Well played from Solano at the back. Good positioning by the Solano defense. Here's Lewis. Looks for the other Lewis, Desiree. Desiree's quick on her feet, but good defense from number 11, Diana Ruiz of the 49ers. Good check by the center midfielder. Lewis plays it across. Sounds well intercepted there. Here comes a chance for the 49ers to break again through ball. Looking for Valencia once again. And Sir, Sir and Valencia, that's a rivalry all day long. They're oh looking yeah. at each other. That's a one on one rivalry. Man, what do you think on that one? Who's got the advantage? You know what, right now it's up in the air. I, I definitely like the way Sir is holding a, a, a pretty strong line. She's not letting uh, Yuba get anything past her, that's for sure. And that Valencia is a talented little midfielder on their wing. Oh, yeah, very talented. And I'd like to see, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure Yuba's going to be using her down the sideline. And Mia yeah, Horn, please. great play to bring it across the wing. Here comes Desiree Lewis using her speed. Down the wing, beats two players. The ball comes Finish. in. Dessel, oh. Good defense by Yuba. Yuba City once again. Jordan Lutus tries a shot. Chip. Oh. Good chip. <laughs> Just over the bar. And those are the kind of things that make Solano dangerous. Wow. Out of nothing, Jordan Lutus, who has a cannon on her right foot, puts it just over the bar. And with that keeper of Yuba City, uh, Naisha Valencia, she could be troublesome with the size, you know, she's a little short. Good movement by you, and again, here's the matchup we've been talking about. And this is the matchup. Nice give and go. They're Cut looking for well. Valencia down that wing, but once again, Solano comes up big. 
And good pressure from 49ers, but Sir once again clears it. Again, Darian Sir is up to the task. Forty Niners trying to create an attack. You have to say Solano started off a little bit brighter here in this first half. Yeah, definitely. A little more cl clear cut. Although yeah. the Forty Niners had that golden opportunity Both early. Both teams have have had good opportunities, good chances. At this point right now, I want to see, and what we're going to see is who can capital capitalize on that, and that's going to change the game definitely. And you got to say this is probably a bigger match for Solano because they are four and four. Mm -hmm. They can't afford to go under five hundred. Definitely. Meanwhile, Yuba City's sitting pretty at five and two. Definitely. So you got to say this is a big, a big win for Solano. Definitely. Big win. Big win. Especially at home, they know this field. It's a nice field. Clean, Beautiful clean, crisp. day. Good day. Perfect day for some nice old soccer football. You know. Mm -hmm. Coach for Yuba is definitely vocal tonight. Definitely. And this—they both know it's a big game. Both teams. And here comes Lewis. Great ball Good once run. again looking for Desiree Lewis, who's quick on her feet down the Lewis wing. Very pacey. Once again, another ball into Sydney Schoberg. She had her first Finish. touch. Just a little too heavy. And picked up by Araceli Garcia, the goalkeeper. Again, again, good movement by Solano. They notice that Lewis has the pace down that right flank. Look for Solano to definitely take advantage of that. Now the 49ers are on attack. The shot from number 12, Erica Lynch, deflected into the Grateful hands of Hendershot. It, it just seems like one of those games where it's going to be come down to a tactical error or a mistake or just a, a bit of brilliance. What mm -hmm. do you think? Definitely, Daniel. Definitely, I, I like. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, to seeing who can capitalize on opportunities. You know, that's all it is at this point. Here comes Calderon. Ball gets put into Dessel. Good move, good turn by Dessel. Good control, Moving plays it out wide. Sir tries a long ball ahead. Cut good defending well. from Gonzalez. Ball back into Calderon. Good movement from Solano. Moving the ball, looking for Schoberg. Ball comes in, headed. Great defense from Yuba City 49ers. They have a strong defense back there. They do. Led by number five, Priscilla Gonzalez. And I think Yuba already, off the bat, they identified that Schoberg is, da is dangerous. They got two on her right off the bat, two defenders on and her. Jordan Lewis tries a crack. Oh! Again, the long shot. It's a great long shot. Jordan Lewis, once again, with that cannon of a shot just over the bar. It looks like there's going to be a substitution here for Yuba City. And number 20, Fernanda Ruiz will be entering the pitch. Big game. <laughs> and uh, Ruiz, who looks more like a defensive midfielder, is going to fill up shop, maybe to stop that threat, as you said, of Schoberg. Yeah, definitely. Of a battle going down the wing, and it breaks out to Mia Horn. Mia Horn playing like Mia Ham a little bit today. <laughs> <laughs> playing a great little game. She is Solano feisty. Ball. You can tell Solano likes his left hand side. Dessel, nice control. Back to Sir. A little bit of a shank kick Good. there. Muscled off. Calderon, here comes number 12, Erica Lynch. Look at Sir starting the back. break. Shrugs off one challenge. Lynch for the 49ers. Someone's got a step. Still going. Beats another player. Lynch still. Shot, and easy into the hands of Hendershot. Wow, one ma one woman wrecking machine there. Yeah, definitely. She. Here comes Sir. And this game is open today, folks. We have a back-to-back -back 49er Falcon attack. 49er and Falcon. It makes it for an enjoyable watch. Dessel six Good foot battle. in. Good battle there. That's, That's what you want to see in midfield. Slow breaks free. Here comes Horn. Horn tries a little through ball, just too much on it. A little too much on it. Again, It'll looking for Lewis down the right flank. She's dangerous. Lewis looks really fast down there. They just can't catch her. Yeah. 
So what do you think Solano should do to kind of break down this Yuba City defense? Work it Dessel. looks pretty strong. Definitely work through Dessel. She's getting involved early. But definitely work through Dessel because she's connecting with Schoberg. She's connecting with Lewis. Definitely, yeah. Work through the center midfielders, but Dessel I can see right now. She's, she's getting into the game. And uh, Lewis is going to be key down that right flank. She's got a lot of pace, a lot of pace. And here is Lynch now for the pointers, trying to throw ball. Well played, well played. Well, Hendershot comes out. Is strong. Both defenses are on their A games. Definitely. And breaks free here. And Horn with some great pressure. Breaks free, and Desiree Lewis comes up with the ball. Good step over. Good little step over. Burns her player. Tricky football. Beats one. Oh. Beats two. Good defense once again from Gonzalez back there to shut things up. You see Yuba got two on Lewis, two players on Lewis that time. And once again, Lynch just using her strength. Number 12 beats the player, and she's all alone. One-on-one, -on -one, Jordan Lynch for the 49. Oh. oh. Oh, what a scare for the Falcons. And again, Nicholas, that's what you were talking about. There was a mistake in the midfield, led to a break by Yuba. That's going to that's gonna determine the game today. Got to watch the mistakes. Oh, wow. Heart and mouths moment for the Falcon fans Close. there. Jordan Lynch just took on the defender. It was a mistake. And that's how it, soccer is. It can change just like that. Oh, definitely. And you got to say, Hendershot did throw her off. Good goalkeeping there to come on out mm -hmm. and maybe force a shot wide. But maybe, you know, Lynch will look back and say she should have finished that. Yeah. Calderon picks it up for Solano. And there's Dessel. And to Dessel. Tries a little oh. touch into Schoberg. And intercepted by the 49ers. But good work from Calderon, who looking for again Lewis. for Lewis. Ball comes out to Schoberg. And once again, Gonzalez for the 49ers clears it up. And, Nick, I really want, I think I'm looking for Solana right now to settle the ball a little bit, look <laughs> for space. I feel like they're maybe pushing it a little bit too, the through balls, a little too many through balls. Settle the ball down, move it, work it side to side, you know. Now, their coach was stressing earlier to ha have high intensity, fast pace. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to combat there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with that. You want to be high intensity. The ball comes pressuring. in. And there's a penalty. That's a penalty. And what do you think, Daniel, on that call? That's a controversial call. Um, usually you'll be looking for the goalie to be uh, have priority there, but, I mean, you can't disagree with the referee. had a better uh, point of view. Seems so. like she got stripped up there, and it was Horn who was tripped, and she is going to take the honors. This is a huge moment for an upset in the game. Solano can take the lead with this penalty kick. Now, could you say that could have been a red card? Last girl there. Here comes the penalty. And Mia Horn Good slots finish. it. Great penalty. And Solano leads 1-0. Mia Horn finish. with the goal. Great finish. Her fundamentals look great there, wouldn't you say, Daniel? Definitely. Definitely, yeah, calm and collected. That's what you want to see. You don't want to get too nervous. You don't want to show any goalie signs when you're taking a penalty kick. Um, just went on and finished it. Slotted it to the right corner. Can't <laughs> ask for anything better. And Dessel is coming off now. Interesting sub by the coach. And uh, Kyla Williams will be replacing her. Just what the Falcons needed, and that may give them that confidence boost that they need against this favored, ranked above them team, Yuba City. Definitely. Five and, and then, Nick, the, the next five minutes are crucial for Solano. Yuba's going to be pressing. This is going to be crucial for Solano not to give up any easy goals. The next five minutes are going to be crucial. Yes, yeah, this is where Solano needs their concentration to step up. And uh, it's not a good start for the 49ers coming into this game as the favorites, uh, giving up a penalty of all time, things to give up. The thing for, for Yuba right now is they just need to work on finishing. They've had the chances. This finishing's key. You're right. And it looks like Jordan Lynch, who's on the ball now, is going to be that player. Lynch is player dangerous, definitely very dangerous. To break the – to tie this game up. And here she is going long range, struck over the bar. I'll tell you one thing. Lynch is a threat today, and mm -hmm. she is going to be the biggest, biggest opposition to the Falcons winning this game. It's interesting. You battle the strikers today, huh, Nick? Lynch and Schoberg, two great strikers. 
great strikers. Kind of a different dynamic. Schoberg more of a technical player. Yeah. Likes to shoot. And Lynch is a driver. She likes to take you on. So uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be up for grabs. But uh, back to that penalty. Great composure there for Mia Horn. Without she fell that. down. She was the one that got tripped up. She comes up, dusts her feet off, and slots at home. Big moment for Solano, definitely. Flicked on. All clear to the side. And once again, here is Valencia going one-on-one -on -one against Here's Sir. Here's the match we were talking Valencia about. Valencia, and good read by Sir. But Valencia doesn't give up. And here comes the 49ers. Still going. Ball cleared. And looks like Valencia just lost her footing there as she was going to whip that ball in. And that's the pressure from Sir right there. Sir's keep got to keep putting that pressure. Good defense by Solano. Looks like both teams have their favorite. And it looks like Solano loves going towards the speedy Desiree Lewis while the 49ers look like they're going towards Valencia, Valencia yeah. on the wing. And Brianna Valencia is a good big good threat ball. as well as Lynch. And here comes Mia Horn, the goal oh. scorer. And good challenge there from Gonzalez. We have to say is a rock back there. Definitely. If I were Solano, I'd wouldn't be working through her side. I'd be working through the right side, through Lewis. And uh, Solano just, you know, what do you think they should do, Daniel? Would you suggest holding the game, kind of sitting back defensive, or would you push forward and look for that second? Well, if we look at the play right now, look at Lewis. She's totally by herself on the right side over there. Work a switch. Keep working the switches. Let Lewis take it down the sideline, put it across their finisher, Schoberg, and she'll, she'll do the work right there. Here comes Zuninga. Tries to find Valencia once again. They love this right side, these 49ers. Ball comes into Lynch, who is the deadly striker up front. Beats another player, left again, foot strike. Lynch getting a shot off. And Hendershot picks it up gratefully. And what do you think about Lynch today, Nick? Looking strong. Very strong. She looks for a shot. That's what you want to see as a coach. And, you know, Solano has to pick that up. She's going to take shots all day. Yeah. And the keeper... Hender shot. It's going to have to relay that message. Don't be letting her take shots. Here comes Horn on the break. Fed in by Kit. Here's Williams. Nice ball into Sidney Schoberg. Let's see what Schoberg. Nice good ball again. Ball. Williams in the box. Here comes Lewis back post. And good defense there. Good defense. From Daly. Perry Daly. Good wing back defense. But it will be a corner and Solano are pushing. Solano big, is looking to get a second Big goal chance here. here to get that number two and really... Ease the pressure off the defense of the Falcons. Get that second goal lead. Garcia, 49ers, trying to relay some message to her defenders. Ball whipped in. Oh, Bounces around and cleared out. Bounces back to Calderon. Lots it back in. Here's Williams. Finish. Oh, oh just loses her footing. Once again, cleared out. Here's Lewis again. Tries another shot. And once again, it is over the bar. And she loves those long shot shots, doesn't she? God, she's looking for 20, 30-yard shots. Those are dangerous. Very dangerous. Especially with this nice feel. This ball can move. And uh, Lewis is just getting a little too under it. But don't be surprised if she doesn't put one on frame pretty soon. Get, oh, yeah. And threaten that. Garcia goalie. Oh, yeah. I think this is what Solano wants. Just kind of kill the game, slow the mm -hmm. game down. They have the lead. Hit him on the counter. Ball bounces around here. To Lewis. Plays it back to Lysenko. Chipped up. Bouncing around in midfield here. Williams comes away with it. Looks for a pass. Good control. Aggressive play by Yuba. Yuba are desperate to find that equalizer. Solano just trying to keep the ball, keep possession. Key for Solano, keep a couple players on Lynch. Make sure she's not alone. Don't give her any space because she's dangerous. I think if they can get through half time with the lead... Solano coach will definitely stress that. Keep an eye on number 12 of mm -hmm. the 49ers, Jordan Lynch. She is the threat. Erica Lynch, sorry. Here's Zuninga. 
who uses her speed, but Sir is catching up to her. Again, good Sir defense once draft. again from good Sir turn. Damien Sir. Great defending, daring Sir. Bounce around. Valencia tries a lofty. Once again, uh -huh. good defense from Solano. Ball bounces into Lynch, and she is the danger. Good ball out wide. And here comes Aceves. Ball whipped in. Too close to Danielle Hendershot, who will take those all day long. Looked like just the cross was a little too close to the keeper. Here's Daly, drops it back. Good pressure from Horn. Horn still pressing. That's what Solano wants to see, that high intensity. Horn's providing that today. Substitution. And Valencia's coming off. Interesting substitution by the coach. Maybe he just wants to give her a break. I could see that. Valencia works hard. Yeah. Maybe her uh, energy's down just a little bit. Get a fresh leg on there. Ball thrown in from the 49ers to the threat. Lynch, nice layoff to Valencia. Good switch by Yuba. Brianna Valencia. Opening up the game. And Mia Horn tries to dummy the defender. And a little bit of aggressive play there. That looked like a little bit of tugging and shoulder. And that's what you want to see from Things the Falcons. Things are getting cheeky, definitely. <laughs> but that makes for a good game, doesn't it? You can tell these two teams are not used to... Well, especially in Yuba City, not used to going behind. They're five and two this oh, season, yeah. and uh, they're already down one nil inside the opening twenty minutes. So, a little shaky for them, showing maybe a little bit of signs of aggression. Want to keep their heads. And this is where you want to see this kind of situation: Solano counter. Here's Kent. Ball powered in. Looks for Lynch. And the ball still bounced around. Eventually, it's hooked away, it's only temporary. Once again, Kent comes in, drives a hard, low shot, but just Henner shot right to her. And Henner shot has been taking a lot of those today. Oh, definitely. Got to say, Henner shot's a solid goalkeeper back there for the Falcons. Good call. Obvious push on the back there. This is where the 49ers want to keep their heads. They have a long way to go. They can still get back in this game. And the Falcons want to keep theirs as well, but they have the lead, so they can be a little more composed. Ball comes in towards Schoberg, and it finds its way to the grateful hands of Araceli Garcia. Right there. Lynch breaks through once again. Her strength is really causing the Solano defense some trouble. Oh, and side down. And the referee does not give a card. That could have been a yellow card. It looks like she would beat the defender. All ends up. And this is a big opportunity now for the 49ers with a free kick just outside the area. What is she looking to do here? Power at home or maybe add a little finesse on it? That close, I think you want to go ahead. I'm saying just... Full throttle, kick it as, I mean, you want to kick it to an angle, you know, but definitely you want to put a little bit of mustard on it, definitely. He, she's close, very hey, close. Always add mustard to everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here is Alexandria Kent. Ball is struck. Ooh, and it just goes over the bar. Unlucky. I like the fundamentals in that, just a little too much on it. Yeah. That ball was struck well. Hit right, it was just a little bit, a little high, but it was hit right. Hit with the laces, straight, packed a punch. Just a little too high. And the Falcons are struggling to cope with Lynch. And once again, she won that free kick for them. And she is the danger. And I'm just waiting to see if Solano could maybe send another defender on her. Exactly. I don't think you don't, you don't want Lynch to go ahead and settle with a ball at her feet. I mean, you want to put pressure, pressure, pressure. I'd stress that if I were the Solano coach. Pressure on Lynch. Don't let her settle. And Williams picks free, but... A little battle going on yeah, in the field. Yeah, a couple of sides, uh, signs of some congested uh, in there. Play. Comes away to Lewis. Lewis looking for the speed of Desiree Lewis. And cleared away. Good defense there from Diana Ruiz. Shut up shop back there for the 49ers. And Dessel looks like she's going to check back in. 
And a little, it will be for Jasmine Calderon. Calderon. Good minutes for Calderon. Very good minutes. Good defensive play. Solid in the center. Definitely solid. Here comes the always crafty Jenny Dessel. But yeah, look for things to get a little creative right now, Nicholas. It's going to get creative, that's for sure. And what a move there good from move Desiree Lewis. Lewis. She shakes the player. Comes finish. inside. Ooh, and once again, great defending from Yuba City. Yuba's up to the task again. Back in. Lewis once Keep again tries a shot. Again. And into the grateful hands of Garcia. Little 20 yarder. She's, She's taken coming. four She's shots 20, today. 30 yarders coming. And I'm behind the coach. I, I agree. You keep them coming. Good move from Zuniga. Trying to beat two players, which he does. Great move from Zuniga. Cuts inside. Still going. Ball comes in. Deflected. And into the hands of Hendershot. Both teams looking for that final pass, that final shot. This game could easily be 3 2, 4 3. Yeah. A lot of chances, both sides. Ball flicked away. Here comes Aveses. Looks for Lorena Lynch. Hatzel needs to be careful here. And a little bit of afters and there. Looked like a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to call the foul on that one. But the ref gives a corner, and the Solano fans are not happy with that. It's electric in here tonight. You got to give give credit to the Yuba fans for making the tre the trek down. Definitely. Oh yeah, it's always nice to see traveling away support. Yeah, definitely. Ball whipped in low. That's all good defense. Make sure that ball gets out of here and almost into the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't hit Daniel's Mercedes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Solano, both teams look up for it on the defensive side of the game. You have to say the 49ers only let in a penalty kick. I mean, the rest of the way, they've been doing well on defense. Definitely, yeah. That penalty kick was a little bit unlucky. Um, oh, good pressure by Solano there. Good pressure by Dessel. Gonzalez, down to Daly. Daly whips it in. Good challenge from Lewis and Lynch. Great battle. You like to see that battle. <laughs> the ball comes in from a through ball into the grateful feet of Hendershot. I'm really impressed with the way Solano's playing defense tonight. Very impressed. Not given a lot of space. They've got, they've actually went ahead and corrected, and they're they're putting pressure on Lynch. It. They just seem a lot more comfortable with yeah, each other as the season definitely. goes on. And at 4-4, four and four, this is a big chance to get over that 500 mark, yeah. which they want to get back over after that tough loss to Mendocino, 1-0. Here's Desiree Lewis. Ball thrown in. Schoberg lets it roll. And the referee saw a foul there. And it will be a free kick to the Falcons. What happened there? That looked like a little bit of coming together. Uh, Daniel, did you see anything? I mean, that looked almost not even like a foul, but it the didn't Falcons seem will like take much it. There, no. It seems like it's a gift for the Falcons here. And outside the box, this could be And look pivotal. out for Schoberg here. Look out for Schoberg. Dessel loves her strike partner, Schoberg. Let's see what Dessel comes up with. Lays it across to the goal scorer Horn. The ball rushes, oh, turns it side, shot. Oh, great shot by the goal scorer. Just over the bar. Beautiful cut, composed. Jeez, I thought that was heading in for the back it of the net. It looked like it was going from here. Man, a good wing play, the right back coming out. And number four, Jordan Hish, who had a good game last home game is replacing Kelsey Hamster, who had a great display at right back there, keeping everything tight. Ball coming back to end. Is it up for the air? There is. And Garcia, Araceli Garcia, who was trying to keep her uh, goals allowed just to one, scoops it up. Ball headed around. Good touch here from Kent, who looks long for 
Finch, but good play once again from the Solano back Solano line. Solano defense again. That's Lysenko back there with Hadsel as well. And then you have the two wing backs who are playing just as well. Sayre and who just came in, Jordan Hish. Ball moved across here. Here's Alexandra Kent. Plays it back. Captain Daly, good pressure from Horn. A little bit of afters there. That's what you want to see. It's a lot of physical activity going on down there. A lot of things that the referee is just now starting to pick up on. That's what soccer is about. You don't see the little tugs. You don't see the little elbows that go on when the referee's not looking. Definitely. We can see it here up in the booth. And we know all about that, don't we? Oh, definitely. <laughs> you were a dirty player. Well. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, you were pretty dirty. It's And it's a part of the game, that's for sure. But you definitely want to see the referee tonight. Call it early on because it's just going to get worse from here. Right, and it looks like there is a little bit of afters is, between yeah. Daly and Horn and just what we said. The I'm referees. impressed by that from the referee. That's impressive. Young ref, you know, showing that he can take charge of the game. Definitely. That'll be an interesting battle to watch all night between Horn and Daly. And you expect this. You know, the last game at home where it was against the Commons, it was not really physical. With the Solano up 8-9-0, I mean... Both teams kind of lost motivation, but this is a close game. And Solano is up 1-0 against a team who's favored. Oh, yeah. And, you you know, Yuba said he's not loose, used to losing. And Jordan Lewis tries a long-range shot. She's had about five shots today. That was about a 40-yarder. And do you agree with all those shots, Daniel? Without a doubt. When, when I played, I'm a center midfielder. When I played, you definitely really, really want to take shots from every angle. Work the goalie, work the goalie, work the goalie. I mean, like jo Michael Jordan said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Might as well, right? Jordan, Jordan, you got to listen to my MJ. Man. He knew how to ball out, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I know he's, he's got some sort of shoe line that's pretty crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get a pan out of uh, my, ha my hands on a pair of those, right? <laughs> I know. But I don't know if you can pull it off. <laughs> oh, great ball by Sandringa. Played across, back into Finch. Once again, Solano tidies up, and it's Hadsel who comes away with a great clearance. And the ball straight from the other end. Here comes Desiree Lewis. Speeds one, using her speed. Great Good play defense. there defensively from Priscilla Gonzalez. Desiree Lewis still going, using her magic. And it's a corner kick. Lewis got a corner kick out of that. Solano breaking from almost being scored on with one kick of the ball. Hadsel just launched it up, and Lewis uses her speed. Oh, yeah. And you talked about that early being a key factor. And here comes Solano again. And look at that. Three players in. on Schoberg. Three. And Dessel goes down. What do you think about that? That was a little dangerous. That was a little dirty, huh? No call from the ref. You can hear it from the fans. They are enraged. Solano bench actually got up on that one. This is a feisty game. A lot of shoulder to shoulder shoving going on. There's elbows, kicks to the ankles. This is a – this is – these two teams uh, are not really liking each other right now. No, but, I mean, that makes for a good game for everyone watching. That's for sure. Definitely. We just hope the fans can kind of settle down. Yeah. couple substitutions going on here. <laughs> and it'll be Elizabeth Ferreria, <laughs> defensive midfielder, coming in. And she is fast, of what the scouting reports say. Yes, definitely. Very fast. Quick on her feet. It's going to be a nice little battle. She's got those nice Nikes on. She's ready to go. And once again, Finch trudges through a challenge. She is strong. No defenses the again. tallest player on the pitch and the strongest. Nice give and go. Good break. Williams. Williams still for Solano. Look for Into Schober. Deep into it. Oh. Oh, it just cleared away. And as a striker, you want to. Hold up play. When you get the ball with your back towards the goal, hold up play. See if you can wait for someone to come and help you. If not, make a turn, have a shot. Uh, unlucky there for Schoberg. This ball game is wide open there. today. Both defenses have shown up. Only for that penalty kick from Horn is the only thing that separates these two, yeah. and Solano are going to hold on. And this will be a precious, precious victory. Fitch, 
against Hassel. Fitch wins out. Fitch once again finds Step. her captain. Fink back to Finch. Finch just long range effort. Easily into the hands of Hendershot. Good this pressure by Solano. You saw three players get get behind that ball that time. That's that's better by Solano. Better from Solano. Very, very, very good. You gotta say Kent and Finch, both captains of the 49ers, are the biggest threats of yeah. scoring a goal today Without for them. Without a doubt, yeah. And here's Lewis now breaking the attack. Sends a great oh, through great ball. ball. Great ball from Lewis into the Desiree Lewis. Schoberg. Lewis to Schoberg. Ball back across Williams. Oh. oh, what a save. Good movement by some for, by Solano there. Back out to Williams. Switched the ball to Sir. Sir, Sir cuts turn. it side. Nice turn. Sir looking for help. Good. Big pressure here. Sir looking. Once again tries another cut. But good defensive play from Ferreria. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but... It's got, it's got a lot of R's, so I tried to get into the rolling R's. But great defensive play there. And you like to see this, don't you, Daniel? It's back and forth. A lot of fouling going on, a lot of hard hits. You know, it's clean play most of the time, and the ref's doing a good job. Yeah, the ref is doing a great job tonight, definitely. Addressing yeah. issues early, making sure things don't get out of hand. You want to see that. And if you have a city in Solano... Wasn't a big rivalry already. Well, I think we've blossomed into one right oh, now. definitely. This is a game. Here is Dessel. Plays it back. Ball cleared up to Horn. Good defensive play there from Valencia. Look for Naisha switch. Valencia. Yes. Great ball Here's once Lewis. again from and Lewis. To the back to the other Lewis, Desiree. Here's Desiree Lewis, uses her speed. Still on the wing. Good turn, good turn. Cheeky football. You know, Desiree Lewis has got that quick footwork. She does. And the 49ers are going to have to do, somehow watch her run. How are they going to cope with it? It's going to be tough. Lewis has, she's got everything you want from a traditional winger. She's got pace. She's tricky. It's going to be tough. Definitely you want to make sure she doesn't have time on the ball. That's for sure. And this game is just zipped on by. There's already three minutes left. Here the score at 1-0 to Solano. Thank you guys for listening to the Solano Network. Go Falcons. And that's a great through ball once Too again. Time there. Here is Finch. Finch drives. Cuts inside. Looking for help. Good and Solano once again. Their again defense the is so organized. Without a doubt. Good ball into Williams. Williams under pressure. Looking for a play. Looking, looking. Find Schoberg. Good Schoberg, good Schoberg. Turn. turn. Great touch. Comes Dessel. Dessel looking for Lewis. A little too heavy on the last touch. But I do like that movement. Good movement from Solano. Very good movement. like to see the link-up play. Definitely. Into the last two minutes here. This next goal is pivotal right before halftime. Are you going to see a 1-1 or a 2-0, or will it stay at 1-0 to the Falcons? This next goal is big. Unlucky. And that'd be a really, really good thing for Solana to go to halftime with this lead. Especially as the underdogs. It's They'll nice be to happy get with a that, definitely. They'll be good happy confidence with that. morale boost to go up 1-0 against a team that should win. Looking for Finch again, who is dominant. Good turn. Finch still. Finch good still turn. going. And Solano crowds her out. Good defense. Uh, four players there that time. Horn. Crowded out. This game is getting a lot more physical as it goes on. Oh, unlucky. Good read from the 49ers. A little bit of a mis miscue. Ball chipped towards Sir. Sir, one touch. Two touch. Good pressure. Still, Sir. And Solano. shoulder off. Solano, is that a free kick or is that a... Throw in. Let's see. Look like a little. Uh, I believe they're calling a free kick. Grab it on the shirt there. Might be a free kick. Yeah, definitely. There's a pulling on the back there. Back of the shirt. Lysenko having herself a good day in the back there. Number 12 for Solano. Good day. Solid, solid half. I want to see her bring that over to the second half. Bring that same intensity. Solano needs to bring that same intensity. Ball played across. Headed away. Here is Jordan Hish. Hish plays it into the feet of Desiree Lewis. Good turn. Good turn. Beats her man. Into the box. Cross. Crossed. 
We'll go out for throwing. Lewis, such a threat down that wing Without once again. You can't teach speed, can you? No, definitely not. Definitely not. That's something you're born with. Uh, you can work for it, but uh, you're born a natural, pacey winger, and that's what Desiree Lewis is. She was born to play wing. Well, whipped around on the box. Lewis back to Hish. Good touch. Tries to play in Lewis. A little bit of miscommunication there as to where the ball was going to go. And I'd like to see Solano working an early cross. Maybe a 20-yard early cross before they make it down to the touch line. Schoberg's just waiting around there for an easy header. And once again, that is the end of the first half. I'd like to say thank you guys for listening to Solano Network. 1-0 to your Falcons here at the Falcons' Nest. Thank you, guys. Thank we'll you. see you. Hi, everybody. We're at halftime here at Solano Community College where the Lady Falcons hold a 1-0 lead over the visiting Yuba 49ers. And at halftime here, we are joined with the Solano Athletic Director, Eric Visser. Eric, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome, Greg. Pleasure. Well, Eric is the new athletic director here at Solano, started in July. And Eric, right off the bat, tell us a little bit about your background and your journey here to Solano Community College as the new athletic director. Well, in 1978, I, uh, I came from the Netherlands. I was on a full scholarship at the University of San Francisco, so I had a full student athlete experience. And after graduating, I right away went into coaching. I had a 32-year career coaching men, women, as an administrator, as a faculty member. And uh, I landed in the land of the Falcons as of July 17th. And so far, a wonderful landing. Well, tell us a little bit about the challenges you face as the new athletic director. What are some things that you're looking ahead to here at Solano Community College, especially with the tradition of athletics here? Well, I think, you know, the challenges are statewide. Obviously, you know, with, with, with the enrollment having gone down a little bit, you know, budgets right now are, are a challenge. So that, I think, is the number one, you know, thing that we're trying to figure out, not only how to generate, you know, more support from within the campus, but also generate, you know, more support off campus and get more support for our existing programs. I think once we've taken care of our existing programs, which, by the way, I think are bar none, they're fantastic programs with great coaches and great student athletes. I think once we have kind of settled on that, then I think we can look forward and maybe move on, move forward and look to add maybe some, some sports, maybe restore some sports that obviously had a great tradition and history. But at the same token, first, you know, we need to take a breather, see where we're at and, and move forward. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you really enjoy about your job as the athletic director here at Solano. What I enjoy is being out here at the game. Um, what I really enjoy is seeing our coaches at practice session, which is really their laboratory, their classroom, interacting with student athletes. Um, then I like to interact with student athletes personally and see how we can make a difference in their life because it's like anything else. If you get a chance to peel the layers and really get, get to know the student athletes, there's a lot of wonderful student athletes and they need help and mentoring and support. And really the, the human interaction, that's the part of the job I really thrive on. And for 30 plus years at USF, being in student services, that's really what I really enjoy about the job. Again, Greg Poff here with Athletic Director Eric Visser. And Eric, last of all, we have a lot of youngsters and possible high school students watching our soccer broadcast today. What would you say to a youngster high school student who's thinking about coming to Solano Community College to play sports here? Give them a good reason why they should come to the college. Well, I think it's a wonderful option because, you know, we, we always tie the academic, the athletic, and, and the social component together. And I think the programs here at, at Solano really embody that, that, you know, they don't only excel, you know, on the field, whether it's softball, baseball, or, or basketball, but they also excel in the classroom, not only here, but our coaches do a terrific job moving our student athletes on to the four-year level. So I think, you know, coming to Solano is not only a great option, I think it's a very smart, wise option, not only academically and athletically, but I think financially, I think pragmatically, it's a wonderful option. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Eric. A real pleasure giving the audience a chance to meet the new athletic director at Solano Community College, Eric Visser. And it looks like we're just about ready to get things started in the second half. So let's throw it back up to the Falcons' Nest and the boys in the booth. Thanks for listening.
Put the pressure. Put the pressure. Lewis plays ball into Sherwood. And picked up once again from Garcia, who, aside from that penalty, has done pretty solid back there. Arcelli Garcia good. Yeah. for the 49ers. I'll play it in. And what's your key to the game for the second half? What does Solano need to do? And what does Yuba City need to do to get back and tie this game up? Yuba City needs to work through Finch. That's for sure, sure in Valencia. Um, Solano definitely go through Schoberg, Lewis. They're two threats. They're too many threats. Using De uh, Jenny Dessel and uh, Calderon. Uh, she's a stud back there. So definitely. They got a couple weapons. They just need to take advantage of the opportunities. And it's a free kick here. Great link up once again from Schoberg Dessel. And Dessel goes down. And it was good footwork from Dessel. And it will be a free kick. And we know that Lewis loves to hit these shots. Jordan Lewis, and she's lining this one up. She had about five shots today just blazing over the bar, but she has a shot on her. We know it. And Solano couldn't ask for someone better to take this. This is right up her alley. Crowd eagerly watching this. Yeah, and the crowd did show up for the second half. Shot from Lewis! Shot. Off the crossbar! <laughs> and back out of play. Oh. And again, like we were saying, very dangerous shot. Very dangerous. Wow! That's her sixth shot of the game, and she should be scoring. Oh, my God, I love watching her shoot. <laughs> Man, that should be easily 2-0 to the Falcons, but unlucky. And I bet Araceli Garcia is thanking her wish lucky stars for that one and the goals today for the 49ers. That might just wake up everyone there. Solano is eager for that second goal. Lewis plays it back up. Good defense once again. Here comes Bernice Aceves. Good defense once again from Jordan Hish. Right back for Solano. Ford Niners trying to orchestrate straight an attack. Here's Aceves. Down the line. Make it Zuinga work for it. Back there. Good play there from Hatzel. So Zinga wins the throw in. Looks for Valencia. Valencia breaks through a challenge. Cuts inside. Back to Zuinga. It's all jumbled up, but Valencia comes across. Inside the box. And well saved. And Nick, if you can look at it tact from the tactical, tactical aspect of what the coach of Yuba City did, he went ahead and switched Valencia onto the left side, took her away from Sir, because she knew she couldn't do anything against Sir. I think that's a great, great change by the Yuba City coach. You're absolutely correct. It looks like Valencia's playing more of a striker up front role now. Definitely, yeah. And it looks like Anna Castro has moved into the goals. Great save from Anna Castro. Ball whipped in from Zuniga. Defense a little shaky. And it's eventually cleared away. And Solano living dangerously now with the momentum all with the 49ers. Just after that crossbar shot from Jordan Lewis. Seems like the tide is starting to turn. This is a great open field game. Neck and neck, back and forth. What do you think, Daniel? What's going to happen? Like I said, the first 10 minutes are crucial for Solano. They want to make sure they don't let any easy opportunities that they're going to regret go in. Yuba City take advantage of... Ball whipped in. Castro spills it. Eventually cleared away from Hish, by Hish. Here's the goal scorer, Horn. Horn looking for a player. Tries to find Schoberg. Once again, good play from Gonzalez. Back out. Hish launches it again. Schoberg dealing with it. Gonzalez headed away, but a little bit of late afters there from Schoberg. Leaning on in that challenge. But yeah, Just a little say, late. As, as long as Solano gets out of these first 10 minutes, as long as they control the ball, open the field, uh, basic things that um, you learn in the training ground. They'll be fine. Definitely, they'll be fine. Gonzalez looking. And the ball is whipped out wide. Good play from Aceves. Aceves says, back to Kent. Kent tries a through ball. Zuninga latches onto it. But well played from Darcel back there. Again, solid defense Hatzel, from sorry. Solano. Hatzel, strong defender back there. Good turn. And bump it, and Horn uses her strength. Burns a player. Well, Sheila from Gonzalez. And still and going is Horn. Working. Still going is Horn. Great bow. That's what you want to see. And she still has the ball. Played across. Oh, and just the finishing play just couldn't come across. But and that wow. That reminded me a little bit of Dirk Kout. You remember Dirk Kout? Oh, He's Dirk Kout. Liverpool. From Liverpool. Wow. Just. 
just dirt cow, just like dirt cow, just a mean, lean fighting machine. I mean, an engine. She just was, keep working, definitely. I mean, she was on the ground about two, three times there, and still fought for that ball. That's and those that's are the what you want to see. Players that you want to have on your team, without a doubt. Definitely, and Horn, you know, hard work pays off. She got the only goal of the oh, game. Yeah. She looks strong out there. I think Yuba City will have known that uh, during the halftime team talk. Played across to Ferreira. Still going with Ferreira. Calderon, well played. Back out wide. Nice play from Sir. Looks for Jenny Dessel. Who looks for the through ball. Just a little too much inside. Gonzalez, well read there from the Yuba City. And they're trying to work their way out once again. You have to say the tempo has raised this level in the second half early here. Definitely. A lot of fast play. That first half had, had its, you know, kind of low moments, but this second half is just nonstop action. Both sides with chances going from Jordan Lewis's free kick off the crossbar to a great chance for Valencia on the other side. And will be a substitution here early on in the second half. And it'll be Hamster coming on for Hish. Hamster had a solid first half there. Solid. And Hish came in and played well. You know? Definitely. And it's it's nice to have that that kind of depth, you know, as a as a coach when you the, get the most successful teams de they have depth definitely. Yeah. You don't want to rely on a few stars, you know. Right. The, the best teams have strength in numbers. And we we'll, we all expect it, and and the change has come. Erica Lynch, not five seven minutes off the clock, she's back in. Oh yeah, and, and this that's is going to be crucial for Solano. They want to put two two players, one player if they if they have high pressure. But make sure they don't let Lynch have a lot of time on the ball. And this is this is why we love soccer. It's a nail bite. One nail lead for the underdogs. And now the best player comes on the field, the biggest threat, Finch. And she goes right up there and she's gonna challenge those defenders all through the second half. And it's gonna be a big, huge test for the Solano Falcons. Ball played out wide. It looks like Valencia switched over to the right. Daniel uh what do you think make of that formation change? Valencia back out right, and she will be taking on Sir once again. And Finch looks like she's headed towards that lone striker exactly. role. I think uh, uh, Lynch, they just they put, as soon as Lynch was deployed in the center, as soon as she came <laughs> back on, they wanted Valencia to go back to the right. So they're going to have uh, two strikers up top. It looks like it's going to be Lynch and Valencia working kind of a, a, a dual threat kind of thing. Correct. It, it it's going to be interesting to see how the Falcons have adjusted their game plan to Finch. Finch could have easily had a couple goals there, and she set up a lot of plays too. And and you know and when I, I play, I, I love marking the best players. It's it, it's not. And Schoberg plays it through, Lewis, another shot blocked. Good oh, save. another great save. <laughs> These goalies have come to play today. Araceli Garcia That's showing amazing. why she is in that between the sticks. And you got to say both teams have chances. Who's going to create that all-important second goal? Will it be Solano building their lead, or will we have an equalizer? Here's Kent, the captain, looking, for looking out ball. wide, looking for Valencia. Sir, who has played well against her. It'll be a 49er ball. Valencia throwing it fast. The, the tempo has definitely stepped up oh, yeah. in the second half. I mean, I'm excited. This is nail-biting stuff. Here it comes. And it's another afters again. There's a little bit of late challenges going in. You can tell these teams don't really, they're not really fond of each other. What did you say? It's getting chippy. It's definitely getting chippy. That's for sure, Nick. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the ref starts pulling out a couple cards soon, yellow cards. And, and sometimes the yellow cards are your best friend if you're a referee. Not only does it discipline the player, but it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Exactly. Ball whipped out. Slow, well organized today. I think that's the main focal point that they worked on on the training ground. It looks like Without their defense doubt. is Without so just in shape with each other. They you came know? prepared, definitely. They did their homework on you, but that's for sure. You can tell. Ball flicked in. Was that a handball? It is to the referee. And I don't know if and I agree with that call. I'm going to tell you straight off the bat. I'm not sure if I agree with that call. That is so unfortunate. Flicking off the hands of Amanda Hatzel. And Solano is not happy about that. I mean, did the ball hit the hand, or did it? It didn't look intentional at all. And again, you're looking for it to be obvious for the arm to come pretty far away from the body and strike. 
It looked like that her arm was pretty close to her body, so I'm not sure if that was intentional. And this is a huge moment, just moments after coming on, about a minute or two. It's all who we thought is Erica Lynch stepping up, going up against substitute Anna Castro, who's coming in for the second half. Huge penalty. And the ball! Oh, what? Shows the ball! Back in! Oh, Unlucky. and it's back in. Unlucky. She had too much time. Lynch had too much time on the and ball. And it is 1-1. The penalty, unlucky for Castro, rockets off the crossbar. And, and it looked like she might have, Castro, that the first shot tipped it off her finger, just off the fingertips. Great save. You have to say amazing save because the referee is just pointing out to Solano that if there was not a tip, that goal would not have counted. You cannot exactly. follow up your own shot on a penalty. Exactly. If the goalie does not touch it, unlucky. But for but that just shows you how, what a great save that was from Anna Castro. Exactly. And, and just she unlucky. needs some help from her teammates. They should have swarmed right away. Right when that kick went off, they should have swarmed. Shouldn't have. Lynch should not have had that much time on the ball. That's for sure. Definitely, you're right, Daniel. It's just this, the defenders. One moment. That's how it is. Two penalties in this game. One one. You can't ask for a better rivalry classic. This is. And can't you feel? Can't you feel the momentum shift? You can feel Yuba. I can, it's just, that's how soccer is. A goal can change everything. And and I'm telling you, these last, what, 30 no, minutes or so races. is going to be exciting. I mean, I don't know. What, what's what's your take? Is it going to be the home side? Is it going to be, or is it going to come down to another mistake, penalty? And these teams are even, 50-50. And Solano is up for the fight against this 5-2 and two Definitely. higher ranked Yuba City team. For Solano, they want to get their two threats involved, without a doubt. They want to get Schoberg involved. She has oh, and it's a mistake. Finch clean through for a second. Yes! And just seconds after, Erica Lynch with the second goal of the game for her and Yuba City. And, I get and it, you I get call it. that the 1-2 spin around. Exactly. It is 2-1. Just Those like that. Two to five minutes right after you, they score a goal are the most crucial. And that is where lapse of concentration just kills you. But this game is far from over, and you have to ask, where will the Falcons, how will they respond? Now the confidence is all riding on the away side, and the 49ers look hungry now. They're looking for that third. Falcons have to orchestrate an attack to get that equalizer. And this is how this is where we see how good a team is. This is if Solano can come back. Lewis driving forward, trying to find that equalizer. Plays yeah, it out to the goal scorer horn. Injured. Oh, and it looks like there's an injury on the field. Over towards the left side and center. And she is down. Let's see who that is. It's Desiree Lewis. Is it Desiree Lewis? Oh, and that is a, huge, a huge, huge blow. Huge blow to the Falcons. She has been creating plays all day long Let's with hope her it's speed. Not serious. It's all gone quiet. Is there Lewis a key factor to the Solano attack? They can't afford a loser. Falcon fans praying that it's nothing too serious. Did you see what happened? It looked like just a little bit of afters or just kind of a... You know what? I did she land wrong? Initial, I didn't see the initial contact. It might have been... I mean, it could have been something... Looks like it's a knee, maybe. It she's looks like walking, she's able, she's she's able to stand so that's up. Good, that's a good sign. And Desiree is a tough old troop, and she is going to stay on the field, it looks like. And that's a huge sigh of relief for the Falcons. Definitely. Falcons fans are taking a breath of fresh air right now. That's for sure. Man. Now that they have Lewis back, it's going back to that two-goal swing around in the matter of two. One Was it a minute and a half, two minutes? Maybe two minutes, yeah. It's just that lapse of concentration after that great play in the first half from Solano. It just It's out the window for just that little bit. And, and that's soccer for you. That's soccer for you. It really is. I mean, you can never really tell. And you have to say both goals were well executed. Uh, the penalty was a penalty, was it? Looked like a handball. Well. And the second goal, Finch, Lynch. By none other than Lynch, exactly. None other than Lynch. 
Lynch came on in the matter of seconds, the, the game had changed. Good movement by Dessel. Solano has to find that response, and Finish. a great take from Dessel. Inside, off the post. That and that All ball the fans looking at the down. assistant ref, was that in? And again, the ball needs to cross the line all the way, cross the line all the way. How unlucky is Solano today? Two shots off the crossbar. And that almost bounced off the, and that could have been in. That, did all that cross the line? The you know, I couldn't see from this angle. That was but very all, interesting. Items. Finch, clean through, just wide. We have a classic rivalry today. Wow, it's going this back, and, back forth. and forth. This is the games that I love to watch. I, I love commentating these games. You can't even take your eyes off it. I mean, Definitely not. The, the clock's just moving so fast. This is an amazing game to watch. And I just, you got to say, this next goal will probably determine where it's going to slide in momentum. If the and Nicholas, what do you think about this switch here? Look at Lewis playing. She got switched to the right. What do you think about that? What does that wow. do for the game? Good catch there, Daniel. That looks like trouble for whoever's marking her. Number 11, Diana Ruiz. And Ruiz is going to be up for it today because Lewis will burn you. And uh, those shoes are ready to take on anyone. Solano is knocking on the door for that equalizer. They have to keep their heads up. You know, those two goals are over and done with. It's still 2-1. There's still plenty of time, about 25 minutes left. Solano are still in this game. They need to feed off the crowd's energy. Ball played through. Here comes Lewis. Plays it inside. Schoberg, good Dangerous. turn. Schoberg still cuts in. Good, good ball, ball to Horn. To Horn touches. Back to Lewis, who's on this right side now. Uses her speed. Use her speed. Nice in touch. Great give and go. Good and call. Good call. Good well, call it looks by like the, by the assistant. Horn just stepped a little too eager there, Daniel. Just a little bit, yeah. And that was a nice slide. You got to say you like the way Solano's trying to creep back into this Without game. Without a doubt. They're showing a lot of, a lot of drive right now. Good nice ball. play. Dessel whips it in. Ball headed away, but it drops the horn. She turns Good aside. Shot, cheeky. What a shot. shot. Oh. oh. Just wide. Did Horn have options, or was she right to go for uh, that shot? That was the best decision she could have made. Cut out to the right, into the center. Had an easy shot, clean shot. Unfortunately, it didn't, it didn't convert, but beautiful movement. Good movement by Solano. I'm impressed. I think they're, they're knocking on the door. They're right there. And defensive midfielder Fernanda Ruiz checking into the game. and It's a little bit of signs from the uh, 49er coach. Maybe a sign of playing defensive, holding this lead. Yeah, I think he's okay with a 2-1 right now. Nice ball inside Here from Horn. Dessel. Dessel turns in, but Looks crowded area. The 49ers are crowding. They're not l allowing for that equalizing goal. 2-2, two, two. they do not want that. And they're looking for the counterattack. And Ruiz uses her speed. Aceves still going. Williams trying to catch up with her. Ball whipped in. Another corner kick. 49ers have the momentum right now. And their away fans are letting us know it. There's a huge battle of tests here. They don't want to go down 3-1, the Falcons. Concentrate. Here is the captain, Kent, going in for the game. Whips it in, and it's off the post, off the corner kick. Here is Lewis. Looking for Schoberg. Schoberg rushing down, but Gonzalez clears it away. Here's Ruiz. Plays it up. Kent. Both teams trying to find the feet in the midfield. It's all jumbled now. Squirts out to Zuniga. Zuniga tries to play it through. Lynch comes on to it. Left foot shot. Oh, what a finish. Hat trick. Hat trick for Lynch. You got to say that was well played. And Lynch, just quickest to it, chipped over the Great shot there over the goalkeeper. And she has three goals in a matter of 
25 minutes. Excellent. And we talked about Lynch all day, Daniel. Yeah. I hate to say it, but you got you can't give her pressure. You got to close down quick. And, and uh, for you, but she's she's definitely definitely. It looks like an uh, offensive-minded move here from Solano, bringing on Kayla Williams, and off comes Calderon, defensive-minded player, and Williams who loves to attack, and you can tell it's full throttle for Solano now. No more defensive play. They have to go for this game. We're going to see a wide open game. And it, it could be very intriguing to see how they build their attacks. Referee will be going for his pocket now. Looks like the first yellow card of the game. And he's going to give it to, looks like, both players. Give it to Sir and to yeah. Daly. And they've been going after each other all game. Yeah. Very interesting to give it to both players. Maybe, uh, And you'd have to say... It started from the first half. They were bickering at each other all game. Yeah, definitely. A lot of shirt pulling, a lot of you know, legal-type moves. The referee had enough of it, yeah. And the ref just had enough of it. And here comes Daly coming off with that yellow card. She'll be replaced by Naisha Valencia, who had a solid first half. Yeah, great first half, definitely, yeah. Where, where does Solano go from here? Down 3-1. They had the lead. Are they drained? What can they do? Daniel? Push numbers up. Numbers. Get numbers up. Definitely. Um, I would I'd put out a few strikers. And make sure they have as many threats as possible up there. Put up numbers. At this point, they have nothing to lose. I mean, this is where you find out who is a fighter and who steps down. Who wants this from Solano? Here is Lynch. Who is really on form right now with three goals today. Ball played up the line to Zuninga. Zuninga who's been playing well as well down the wing. Good footwork. Still going. Turns inside. Lays it off to Kent. Nice move. Cuts across. Ball Great whipped move. in. Off the chest. Oh. Keeper. Oh, Ooh, and that, that looked sore. There. That looked sore. Anna Call Castro there. came out brave. And it looked like one of the strikers from the 49er well, team just clattered into her. Goalkeeper, that you got to protect the goalkeeper in that situation. But hey, both players are up right away. It looked like just 50-50. Yeah. Bang. Anna Castro brave to come up for that, and it will be a yellow card shown to, I believe it's was that Valencia, like Valencia who's going in there. I think strong. it was Valencia. That's just like Valencia going hard. Well played from Anna Castro to go in brave like that. <laughs> she probably took some cleats to the stomach, but, you know, Castro doesn't mess around. You know, as a goalie, you I'd know, want her in a bar fight. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with the territory as a goalie, though, definitely. And once again, Lynch showing Good her defense. strength. Great defense. Ball spills out to Aveses. And her left foot cross. Just a little off. And goes out of play. Slow just desperate not to give up another one or this game. Will look like it's all but settled if they score one more of the 49ers. We could be sitting here at 3-3 with the Falcons hitting the crossbar twice. If that ball was just a little bit lower, it could be 3-3. That's how soccer is. It's just a matter of inches. Slow looking to build. Here's Jordan Lewis with the throw in. And they're just looking. You know, this is going to be tough for Solano with. Solano's got to pick it up a little bit. The 49ers just cramping up that defense, putting a lot of girls back there to surround the strikers. Oh, and it's a mistake. Good pressure. Horn, good pressure. Good call. And shoved in the back there. Horn, this goal scorer, looking for an attack here. Looks like it'll be uh, Williams taking the free kick. And Solano is pushing up numbers, as you said, Daniel. There's one or two girls back there only. The rest are up front. Ball whipped in. Headed towards Lewis. Dangerous header. Good header. Good. Just That's a little a good bit. Little play from Solano. I like to see that. And Lynch flicks on her own header. She's trying to chase her own header. The ball cleared out, but Lynch will get to it. 
And Hamster shuffles play. it away. Smart play. Gives her teammates time to get back. Good play by Hamster. Sloan needs to raise the tempo. They need to push their girls forward. Well, finds its way. A 50-50 battle. Dangerous move there from the referee. And here is Dessel looking for to create an there opportunity. Plays it back Good out. Movement. Ball whipped. Run right a ball to Lewis. Schobert lays it off for Lewis. Off. Who can shoot them. Great ball Lewis. inside. Desiree Lewis oh. tries to cut in. Great defense. Once again. Good defense from, from the Niners. And they're looking for Lynch, who's looking for her fourth goal of the game. Her speed through. Oh, and what a save from like Castro. Up on the goalkeeper. That's a, but that's that a looked like a that's dangerous a play from Lynch. That's a card. And Castro is down. And it will be a yellow card for Lynch. And it's imp it's important to note here if your cleats come up on any kind of tackle if a, if your cleats come and up it looked, which in this case they did that's a card at least a yellow card and the away fans not happy at all with that card and meanwhile you hear the Solano coach asking for is that it yeah. he wants a red card for that and he kind of has a point yeah I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't have been surprised if a red card was issued there but uh, I think uh, definitely Yuba got a, got away with one there that's for sure. You gotta say credit to Castro. She had an earlier challenge. She's a warrior, and she definitely. comes. <laughs> she comes out swinging again for this second, clobbering. And she's keeping Solano in it. She definitely is. Only for Castro in those goals, it could be worse. You gotta say Castro might want to. And the head fans to the are trying to doctors push after this. Oh yeah. Make sure she's got okay she, ligaments yeah. and everything. <laughs> Which, no, all kidding aside, she seems fine. Lewis battling. you got to say this intensity is rising with all these late challenges and yellow cards. and The ball played through, but once again, Araceli Garcia cleans it up. And she's played well. She's scooping up everything. Ah, sudden break of wind. And ball <laughs> whipped out to Avisis. Who's taking on Hamster? Stops. Looks again. Good one on one play and well played from Solano. Shielding the ball out. Hamster. And it will be a goal kick. Good defending there. Last 15 minutes here. Still plenty of time to get two goals. What do you think? Daniel? Oh, yeah. There's a ton of time left on the clock. Um,. Keys, uh, definitely work Lewis. Schoberg, get Schoberg involved. Um, plenty of time. You know, in soccer, anything can happen. You saw today, Anderlecht versus Arsenal. Anderlecht came back from a 3-0 deficit. I mean, anything's possible. That is true, and that that was two goals in, what, six minutes, it seemed and like. And that one hurt. I'll tell you, I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm a Gooner. I'm not going to lie. That one hurt. It did. I'm a Tottenham fan, so uh, how are we friends, really? <laughs> Tottenham, Arsenal, big rivals, just like Just like Solano the game we see right here. City. And you gotta say, there's a little bit of arguing going down there oh, from yeah, the we fans. Yeah, a little bit of and the referee trying the referee to control, involved. asking the coach of Yuba City to control the fans on that side of the field. And that's what you want to see. This is a game for the for the girls. It's not. Looks like a little bit of uh, of one of the girls' parents getting involved and some heavy words thrown at the referee there. And uh, it's, it's, this, this game is rising in intensity as it goes on. And the referee will not get the warmest reception back in Yuba City, I'll tell you <laughs> that. It's tough to be a ref. A lot of hard challenges going in. A lot of 50-50. Ball whipped in. And cleared away by Hetzel. Good switch from Horn. Looking for Lewis. 
And well done. Good defense. From Ruiz. And that's what you want there if you're Yuba. Ball played to Lynch, who's got a hat Good trick. movement from Yuba. We're looking again for Lynch, who's using her speed and cleared away from Hamister. It's again, Hamister having her work cut out for her going against Lynch. But she does well. Lynch is hungry for that fourth goal. Can you believe she's Lynch got three goals already? One, yeah. And like we said at the beginning, she's a dangerous player. Um, Solano's, they got, they, they got to keep tabs on her, that's for sure. Good little flick. Nice move. Wow. Seninga just Good powered run. through, and she's on goal. Beautiful run, great save. Great save from Castro. Castro keeping the Falcons in it. Valencia drives through, inside. Good challenge from Darian Sir. Oh, a little bit of afters there. And that run by Zuniga reminded me a little bit of your heyday, Nick. That it really did. Wow, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> you know, I, that's 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 me in the prime. I love to take on defenders. <laughs> <laughs> and that'd be you whipping it in. You you had that good cross. Oh yeah. You were a little fast too. I don't know if you were as fast. I was quick. I was quick. You could burn. You might be a little bit of Lewis down there. Yeah, I could see that. They just need to inject those type of plays into themselves. And, you know, Schoberg's been quiet today, and it looks like Yuba City's done their homework she on definitely Schoberg. Has. She's had at least two players on her all game. Well, whipped out to Zuniga again. Once again, taking on Hamster on this wing, and Hamster needs some help. Kent taking inside. Turns inside, still looking. Looks for that little pass into Lynch. But well played. Well, well played there from the oh, Senko. Oh, got a break. Who plays it up. Here's Horn now, the goal scorer. This is a chance for Solano to break. Good cut. Here comes Lewis. He's got girls forward, ball into Lewis. Finish. Lewis touch, shot. Oh, and what Great a save. save. Acrobatic save, what a save. What a save by Araceli Garcia. Great save there. But what about that movement by Solano? And Solano really pressing forward. This game is up for anything. Williams tries to press forward. Got two defenders, still squeezing. Dessel helps her out. Here comes Dessel with the ball. Played inside. It's whipped around. Oh, and Solano are looking for that goal. And it's Daniel. Is it coming? What do you think? It's it's they're right there. It's in just a matter of time. It's they're right there. Ball played up to Lynch again, and she is the threat. Well played there, but oh, it's back like out. Foul. Zuniga using her speed. Zuniga still for the 49ers. Driving into the box, and she goes down, and is a foul for an Solano. Call. That's an interesting call. <laughs> and Yuba City, the crowd is going insane down there. They're so livid with the referee. And what did you see there, Daniel? Um, it's one of those plays, it's a 50-50 kind of thing, and you want to see players battle it out. Um, I think, it, I mean, just that's just what it is. It's just a battle, and I don't know if I would have called anything there, but... I, it looked like, to me, I'm going to have to side with the referee on this one. It looked like... As she was going for the shot, she clipped the Solano player just as the Solano player was about to clip yeah. her. And it looked like Yuba City may have uh, had the uh, infringement first. So I agree, it's Solano free kick. Much to the disappointment of the Yuba City fans and the players. Um, but it was the right call if they look at it on slow motion and surrender. Was it? Okay. Which we can see up here on the monitor. This is a nice little breather now. This is good for Solano. And hopefully Zuniga's breath, okay. Yeah. As for Solano, they're you know, heading over to the sideline, getting some water, maybe getting some last-minute tactical changes. And this this is it. This is where heroes are made. And is the coach going ahead and giving some tactical instructions here? <laughs> Two goals in ten minutes. Can they do it? They need to find that little link-up, that little bit of brilliance, that little bit of touch. That finesse in front of goal is what they need. and You know, they've had chances. They've just been unlucky a lot. They easily had three or four chances where it's, it's just been so close. It could have changed the game. Um, but you got to capitalize. I, that's, that's the name of the game, and Yuba City have. They've capitalized, that's for sure. It looks like it's a long stoppage in play here. I hope, hopefully, 
Adriana Zuninga is okay. You and never want to see players injured regardless. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping she's okay. I couldn't tell if she landed on her ankle or on that clip, or was it just a... And she looked like she was in a lot of pain. You know, it could have been a knee. I mean, knee's very common in soccer. Um, it could have been anything in, in the leg area. And this will just add to the intensity in this game. And, and, and she's up. I, I don't want to say hatred, but pretty close to it between Yuba and Solano. It doesn't look like there's any... Uh, they don't like each other. Let's, let's just put it that way. But, I mean... We're here to see a good game, and that's what we got. So, No friendships on the field, right, Daniel? No, definitely not. You I step on that field, and the person I'm playing across from me is my enemy, and that's how it is. Right. That's, that's how you got to look at it if you're playing soccer. Or any sport, for that matter. Oh, yeah. And this is what you want to see. You want to see passion, you know. This is a good learning experience for Solano, going up against a team who... No, Zuniga's is ranked better than them. Yeah, definitely. And Zuniga's walking again. She has a little limp on her, uh, but she's walking, so it's a good sign. And it looks like she will be okay. She's limping yeah. off the field. Yeah. It's good to see that she doesn't need any assistance to come off. And actually, and and now with Solano, um, see them put. This, want to see him put a little bit more pressure on. I feel like after that injury to one of Zun uh, Yuba City's most prolific attackers. Uh, Yuba City is going to be okay to sit back on their heels, and, and uh, you want to see Solano at attack, you know? Definitely. This is a chance now. With Zuniga gone, these last 10 minutes are essential for Solano. Definitely. If they can't get both goals, at least show those clear-cut opportunities in return for the next games. They want to show improvement up front and goal. You know, oh, yeah. They had a goal today of a, off a penalty. Maybe they can work more on finishing outside the box and, and they're getting close the ball played out wide here comes Aveses a nice turn once again by Lynch being pressured but Lynch still driving and eventually good play from Solano but Lynch is still driving Hamster clears it away and here comes the break now Solano on the break here comes Williams driving forward she's got players ahead of her good skips time. one Looks for Cross a through to ball Lewis. towards Lewis. The speed demon, Lewis, outside the box, looks to take her on towards the right. Still going, Lewis. Looks to get that ball inside. And a little bit of shoulder to shoulder there. Good battle. Lewis shoulder her off. Ball whipped in. Schoberg. And great save from the goalkeeper to come out like that. Garcia once again having a solid game between the sticks. Definitely, both goalkeepers have been great. That's for sure this half. Here comes Sir driving forward. Stolen away from Kent. Kent, good play. L hits it up the line to Lynch. Lynch is up on her own now. Getting some options. And cleared away from Hatzel. But here comes Aveses. Aceves. And she just can't get her foot around it to whip that in. And it's a little wide. And it'll be a substitution here. Calderon coming in for Jordan Lewis. Interesting, Calderon, a little more defensive-minded player. Interesting uh, substitution by Solano. Do you think he's the coach is kind of throwing in the towel almost, or is he hoping for he could, uh, he Calderon could, for her quick feet? Maybe? Exactly. He could be looking for an attack from the back, starting from the back, uh, which is smart. Um, as she's a good distributor. So well, with Doron. Headed down, and it's a mistake. Here comes Lewis. Shot on score. Shot. Just wide. The ball just kept curling and away. We're inside 10 minutes now, eight minutes left in the game. And these are the chances now you have to take. Crunch time for Solano, that's for sure. Who's going to step up for Solano? Do they have time? Two goals. Yuba City trying to kill the game slowly. Play to Aceves. Good defense. Well played from Hamster. Up towards Lewis. Flicks it on. Dessel, nice touch. And good good pressure there from Yuba City. Here is Ruiz. 
On the line, Dessel intercept. Nice football there from Lewis, who looks for Calderon. Ball whipped down, Ruiz up in the air, still Solano. Dessel headed towards Calderon again, but Gonzalez there to ship up shop there. Hamster plays it across. Solano looks to rebuild their attack once again. Here it is, played out wide to Sir. Takes a nice first touch, nice second touch. Uses her speed down the line. Ball crossed in, just a little too soft. There needs a little bit of help there from the center midfielders. Center midfield, this is where they have to push, push. They're down by two. Solano stressing the attack. Here's Williams looking, looking. Ball played towards Lewis. Ball squirts towards Schoberg. Schoberg down on the ground, fighting for it. It's all over the place, and eventually it is Aceves who clears it away, and Finch is on the break. Wrecking machine, this Finch. Lynch. Lynch! Jeez, man. Through a goal, and she's got four goals. Four goals in one game. That's just brilliant. Erica Lynch took on five players. That's just brilliant. And there's nothing you can do if you're slow on defense. That's just brilliant. What can you do? What do you do to stop her? Split the defense like a knife through butter. I, I just, I've never seen such a dominant individual's display. Oh, definitely. And she just has strength, speed. It's, it's all you want in a striker. And that's tough for Solano. That may have just... That could have been the dagger right there. That could have sealed the deal, yeah. That's, that was it. Five minutes that's the left. icing on the cake. five minutes left, yeah. And Solano just looking for pride now, trying to get a goal, but the ball's whipped in towards Lynch again. Lynch looking for a Lynch now. looking for five goals. She breaks through two defenders. All alone again and scores! And she has five goals, and I am witness we are witnessing history here. This is five goals in one game. And Lynch has just taken off I, today. I mean, professionals don't even get five goals in a game. That's she is just ha the ball is working exactly, her way to her. Exactly, a hat trick in professional league is something to be so proud of. It's so hard to get. If you're looking at five goals in one game at this level, that's amazing. I'm speechless, Nick. I can't. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I. I just think we know next time that Solano coach will have at least two players on Lynch because Lynch is just dominant right now. And when they go, when they travel to Yuba City, that will be a tester to see if they can keep up with her. I mean, it's basically Lynch five, Solano one. What do you think? I mean, the, the other players, it's just Lynch has been fed through and she just is really strong. Some of the goals you can't do anything about, but a maybe little they frustration should, here should they have been a little bit tighter or on her? What do you think, Daniel? Was and it again, it's tough because they put two players on her and she still breaks through. It's, I mean, at some point, it's just individual skill, right. which Lynch obviously has. Uh, but if you're Solano, right when she receives the ball, have someone knock it on her door. Right away, right away, right away. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Um, maybe they weren't physical enough with her. Maybe they're a little soft. Exactly, yeah. I mean, that, and that has a, that plays a role too. It plays a part. Ball squirts around this is to the 49er box, and it's cleared away. A backup, Sir sends it. It's a chance for Williams to latch onto it. She's got two defenders on her. Well played from the 49ers. And as it's closing down to the last three minutes, you got to say. The 49ers looked okay in the first half, Yuba City. And it, and it comes back to what we said. It's a team that capitalizes on their opportunities, and Yuba did. I mean, they did. That's the only thing. Um, Solano had the opportunities, but they couldn't capitalize, and unfortunately, uh, this is the result. But, it, I mean, they were impressive. There are signs of, of a lot of promising uh, skill here. I mean, it's not like this is a total loss for Solano. You have to say, if you look at it, those two shots off the crossbar now mean a lot more. Oh, yeah. It, it could have been easily 3-2, 3-3 oh, yeah. two, three, three at that point. And that changes the game. And that's just how soccer is. The ball was, if it was three inches lower, we're looking at a goal on Definitely both of those occasions. It changed the entire outcome of this game. It looks like another injury, and it is going to be a recurring injury. It looks like it's Lewis once again. 
on the right-hand side of the field there. And she will need to be subbed. Desiree Lewis. Now, if you're the Solano coach, do you start taking out some of your top players to keep them from injury? I think you do now. I think with I'm surprised they haven't two earlier. minutes left now, I think you got to take out your players that, you know, are impact players. Yeah. You don't want to see any injuries. And just like this, as we call it, Lewis is down. She was down earlier, and, and this, this is not a good a, sign. This would be a big blow for, for uh, Solano going forward. It's it's a good learning lesson from Solano yeah. to be clinical in front of goal. Uh, first half, Solano dominated. But the team, Yuba City, 5-2. and two, They showed why they are 5-2. and two. Oh, yeah. They came back in the second half, and they looked a lot better. And it's a good learning, learning stage for Solano for the next coming games. This will drop them to 4-5. and five, But... They can bounce back, and they will. I think as they look back at the tape, they'll see they had chances. It wasn't as if they were, you know, it wasn't women against girls. It was it was a good game. It just Solano finished once, and, well, Yuba City finished five times. And they're going to have to work on that, on that in the training ground, finishing. Ball well whipped in towards Calderon here for Solano. And cleared away from Ruiz. Back up to Aceves. He's pressured out. Game winding down here. And Daniel, what's your verdict on today's game? And you know, it came back at game town to uh, Yuba City's over uh, with a shot. shot. Good save. Uh, came on down to Yuba City and, and Lynch. You know, she's prolific. Um, they had good movement. Uh, again, like I said, Solano couldn't capitalize on their opportunities, and that's unfortunate, but um, if they keep training, that's going to come. So, And uh, they definitely want to get Schoberg a little bit more involved. Um. And it looks like a shoving match going on here between Hish and Ruiz, and both will get yellows. Yeah, it's getting a little chippy. And we called this earlier, Daniel. It's a rivalry. It is. It is. I mean, we called it. It's unfortunate to see, but it uh, comes with was, the territory. That was a shoving match galore there. Luckily for the referee, there was no swing. The referee got in that quick. The referee got into that quick. Good play for the referee. Fast, and I, yeah, very I have to say the referee has done well today. He has. With it's this chippy type game, um, crowds into a lot it. of motion, crowds in it, both sides. And it's just been an intriguing match of football. Uh, well, soccer, but football, <laughs> as the world calls it. Um, and it's just been a great match. I mean, I haven't taken my eyes off it. It's been a pleasure to watch, that's for sure. As for Solano, you know, they got to work on their finishing. And uh, it, other than that, they're, they're close. Solano is close. couple missed shots here, and they're back in the game, but that's the way it goes, you know. they got to work on those last-minute oh, touches. Yeah. I'm sure the coach will do that at the end of this game. I'd like to thank you guys for watching today here at Solano Network College and uh, keep in tune with us. We're on YouTube. Watch our games. Keep up with Solano. This young girls team is, they have potential. They're just looking for that last minute definitely, edge. What do you think, definitely. Daniel? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. A lot of skill here, a lot of skill. And that will do it for today. A disappointing home loss for the Falcons. <laughs> and uh, you just got to say, Daniel, that Yuba City was just way more clinical. Yuba City, definitely. They took it, they took advantage of their opportunities. They, they came to play, and that's, that's bottom line. Came Thank you, play. guys. I am Nicholas Stolen, your host here at Solano Network, alongside Daniel Garcia. Thank you, guys. Cal Maritime. Thank you for being here, Daniel. Don't kill hollers.